and Dukravi. A transgender man says he was left traumatised and unwilling to use public transport after he was punched in the head on the London Underground. It comes as research from the capital's travel watchdog suggests one in five LGBTQ plus passengers have faced some form of abuse whilst using public transport. Police say no one should travel in fear, but those who ex who've experienced abuse say not enough is being done to keep them safe. Thomas McGill reports. Arriving at a safe space, it was this LGBTQ plus cafe in Southwark Ash came to after a recent attack on the tube that left him feeling vulnerable. It was so scary and I still, I, I was punched in a specific place in the carriage and I still can't stand, this is six, seven, eight months down the line, I still can't stand in that place on the tube because it feels like it could happen again at any time. Ash is not alone. In a recent survey, one in five LGBTQ plus people say they faced harassment or abuse on London transport. And there's a feeling the level of abuse could be even higher. I think the problem is definitely more wider. We see that a lot of cases are unreported, but a lot of people had said, LGBTQ plus people had said to us that they have little faith or confidence uh, in policing authorities, like you mentioned, which means that a lot of these reports may go unreported. Um, so I think the scale could be wider than the report ourselves. Ash reported his attacks, but says little was done to help. British Transport Police say they do not tolerate any hate crime and take proactive steps to prevent it across the network. In a statement, Transport for London says we are committed to ensuring all passengers and staff are protected from harm. And we have a bold and clear campaign across our network which encourages customers and staff to stand in solidarity against hate and abusive behaviour. Ash has only recently started using the tube again, but says he does so with caution. It feels dangerous to be who I am at the moment. It, it feels dangerous to be me and I, I don't know how I can reconcile being me and being safe. Well, we can join Thomas, who's at an event tonight aiming to help the gay, transgender and queer community feel safer whilst navigating the capital's transport network. Thomas, over to you. Yes, Alice, many people will be shocked to hear those figures and Ash's story regarding the harassment and abuse towards LGBT plus people. And I can tell you, Ash's story is not unique. It is a growing problem and we have been contacted by many, many people with very similar stories. But you're right, I've come down to Soho to an event uh, organised by someone who has decided to fight back, really, and empower part of the LGBT community. So let's speak to Charlie. Good, after good evening, Charlie. Hi, uh, good morning, Angel. <laughs> well, indeed, we're at the uh, Charlie's Angel event. Tell me what it's all about. Yeah, so uh, Charlie's Self-Defence Angels uh, was born out of me being attacked on the tube last year where a guy spat on my face for being trans and I wasn't protected by the system, so I've decided to not just protect myself but teach my community how to protect themselves as well. And we have heard that uh, in the package there that one in five LGBT plus people have uh, suffered abuse or, or harassment. This is particularly for trans people. Are they a particularly vulnerable group within the LGBT group itself? Uh, I think anyone who has uh, the internet or Twitter um, can see that there's a lot more uh, trans hate at the moment than there is for our gay brothers and sisters. Obviously, that's still a, a real thing, obviously, but um, there's a lot of targeted hate right now, and um, I think it's really important that there's a space for that. So I'm just doing my one bit. This doesn't mean that there can't be other people doing other bits as well. Absolutely. It's a community fighting yeah. back, really. Yeah. Who do you hope will sign up? People who want to empower themselves or people who have already been a victim? Them. I hope every trans person signs up. I know I personally, and none of my trans friends as well, had never been to a self-defense class, despite myself having been attacked multiple times before the last attack, and all my trans friends being attacked before. But the reason I set these up is to make uh, trans self-defense classes that trans people actually want to go to, um, like safe spaces, spaces that are um, like not scary and not uh, like intimidating, and a, a space that I'd want to go to, and in turn, then a space people from my community are going to want to go to. And so anyone at home watching this tonight, very briefly, how can they sign up or get in touch with you? You can sign up via our website, which is Charlie's Angels. Oh, no, no, it's not 
about Charlie's Angels. <laughs> it's charliesselfdefenseangels.com. I don't want to be sealed. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, it's Thank in the you. best of luck with everything. Tonight's the launch party, so it's a time to relax and really reflect on today's figures. Back to you, Alice.